Hello, my name is Koichi, and I'm a photographer. I usually take pictures of landscapes, as well as artistic shots featuring people in landscapes, and post them on Instagram. For this project, I took various photos using this camera, the ZF. This photo was taken at Osanbashi Bridge in Yokohama. The ZF has two new monochrome options, flat monochrome and deep tone monochrome. I like the deep tone monochrome, so I tried it out. Deep tone monochrome features a unique tonal quality with very high sensitivity to red and low sensitivity to blue. The blue sky was very clear in this shot, but in this photo, it appears dark. The contrast is higher than standard monochrome, and the overall impression is a little darker, but the tonal range of the shadows is preserved well. Personally, I'm a big fan of this mode, because it makes for a very impressive photo. The ZF enables me to quickly switch to monochrome mode using the selector. With the ability to shoot so intuitively, this camera fuels my urge to express myself. Also, the fuel of the selector changes slightly when rotating between photo mode, video mode, and monochrome mode. Even when I'm looking through the viewfinder, I can feel the difference, so I can rest assured that the mode has been switched. This photo was taken from the top of an observation deck. The sun kept vanishing and reappearing from behind the thin clouds, which gradually turned orange, then light purple. For these high contrast scenes that feature a bright sky and a dark landscape, I took HEIF photos in HLG tone mode. The appeal of HEIF format photos is that they can be recorded in 10-bit, enabling me to capture a wide tone range, from highlights to shadows. Areas that appear dark and indistinct in JPEG images are brought out a lot more when recorded in HEIF format, so the details of the buildings and roads below can be seen clearly. In the future, I plan to make the most of the wide tone range of HEIF images to shoot fireworks, shows, and concerts. This is a photo of a model dressed in a kimono, at a temple famous for its hydrangeas. I wanted to capture the depth of the colors, so I used the somber Creative Picture Control. The effect level of Creative Picture Controls can be adjusted freely. Using 70% as a standard, I experimented with various settings and adjusted the effect level to capture the shot that was closest to what I had in mind. I think that when using somber, the overall contrast increases, giving the photo a soft, sleek look. When shooting, I always pay attention to the balance of red, blue, and green. In this photo, the hydrangea is prominent in the foreground, and I like the balance between the blue of the hydrangea and the green that extends to the back. So at the end, I asked the model to hold a red umbrella to add an accent. I hadn't had much prior experience using a very angle monitor, but I was pleased with how easy it was to shoot vertically composed photos from a low angle. I also shot a video at the same location. The ZF can record in H.265 at 10-bit without attachments, so I was able to shoot using a very simple setup without any external recording devices. Finally, I touched up the video by performing color grading in editing software. I adjusted the contrast and color balance, but being able to shoot at 10-bit gives me a lot more freedom in color grading which is a lifesaver. Trying out the ZF for this project, I noticed not only the sleek appearance, but also the attention to detail in the design, down to the brass dial and the texture of the leather. The camera doesn't just look good, it also has great functionality. The very angle monitor and the state-of-the-art engine really came in handy during shooting. 
After I began using this camera, I wanted to show it to everyone like it was my pride and joy. I hope viewers will take this camera with them everywhere they go and capture beautiful moments.